Got the master bath with a 72 inch tub. Thinking about expanding the tub out another, making a double, which brings it out to the second line here. We got a tall ceiling, it's probably 10 foot. We've got this deep cased window because of the foundation wall comes up that outside wall, so it had to be super deep. Um, wanting to move the shower from there to there where the shitter is. Um, he wants a zero entry shower, so no step up at all into the shower, just straight from the ground, and no stub in his toe, he said. He would like to put a window up above here, um, back behind that shower there. It's just a little stub wall here. You can kind of see it here. We want to extend that tub. He's thinking, but he's not 100% certain, but he wants to double that stud, or that tub, to where it comes out to about right here. Which means that door has to move over about 15 inches. He's talking about two in pocket doors. Um, a double pocket, slide them both ways into the wall, which means the vacuum has to be moved downstairs and this electrical needs to be moved. These vanity mirrors are going to go away. He's going to put two new inset mirrors here. He wants a fancy little drawer or something for his toothbrush that's in the wall that opens and closes. Obviously, lighting gets updated. He's even thinking about adding a little ceiling wall that's a few feet down from this ceiling to create a shelf type thing where you can put led lights and he thought about maybe even all the way around the room except for obviously where the shower is going to be heated floors um he's talking about some schluter schluter stuff he was talking about um as far as the heated floors go i believe and he has a vanity guy he's going to do a 60 inch vanity double vanity this is like 72. I think he wants to do 60 inch vanity with an 18 inch shelf over here cabinet. He had a guy do his kitchen and build cabinets and he said the guy was going to give him an estimate to build this vanity with this shelf. And if that guy will not build the vanity with the shelf, he said we could estimate that. So, but all this tile as you can see comes all the way up the wall. And on the floor. I got basic dimensions of the room. That door, he wants to be a 36. It's a 30. So he wants it to be a 36, which means that electrical there is probably going to have to be removed as well. The vent on the floor will have to be will have to be moved because of the shower. Shower is going to come out another three tiles up to here. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> You're fine. I'm just shooting a video real quick. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be out there in just a second. And this shower turns into a toilet, so that shower goes away. Toilet there. Window up above. Shower here. Um, he was talking about two rain heads up above and one shower stack on that wall. Zero entry shower. Extend this door to 36. He doesn't like the skinny door. He also thought about in his master closet where these rugs are hanging. That behind there is the laundry room. It ripped that out and put a door into the laundry room there, which means the laundry machines have to move to the other side of the laundry room because they're on that wall right there. There's water in that wall, electrical, that can all be removed and put down on the other side. Everything below, he said, is completely open, so should be pretty easy. He said, other than right up below these vanities, but he said we can cut in the ceiling. He's not too worried about that. So, for the most part, access is there. The joists are running um, side to side here. like So, from here back, the joists are running. Um, anyways, that'll give you kind of a good rundown of what's going on. And if you can see what 60 inch shower right there by 36 is what it currently is. So that little cubby's 36 by 60. Show sure, tub is 72 by I think it's 36. 
he was talking about like a 72 he's got a huge tub and then there's the toilet this house is built for a handicapped person with a wheelchair so that's why it's all open and wide he doesn't like how echo it is how echo echoey it is and he doesn't like how cold it is so he's trying to figure out ways to to heat it up with the heated floors or kind of lowering some ceiling down maybe a couple feet just to kind of create some less echo and less more heat retention he was thinking about putting these glass blocks like a little curved curved wall right here of glass block as well so told him you could come over here and take a look at it and give him some ideas you're good at that and i'm not <laughs>